Hiya everybody. So I'm back today with a car boot haul. Um, just to say thank you to the subscribers that have joined us since last video. Um, like I say, I keep saying it, but it, 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 does, it does make me day. It's, it's exciting. Obviously I lead a sad life, but it is. Um, so yeah, I've just got a few bits this time. I'm going to try and look at the middle of the camera this time because I don't know why, but it looked like I was looking into the corner all last time on the last video. So I'm going to try and um, look into the middle and hope, hopefully that's a bit better and not as distracting. So I've just got a pile in front of me. Uh, I'm just going to grab them as I get them. So I picked this up. Um, it's a giant shell, as you can see. I don't, are they called conch shells? I'm not sure. It's quite big. And um, there's no damage to it, as I can see. I wouldn't buy one of these new. Obviously, this were on a car boot stall, so it's it's not it's not new. But I wouldn't buy one. I wouldn't like perpetuate the somebody going and collecting that. That was five pounds. Um, I, I didn't think that was bad because I saw one uh, a few months ago at an antique fair, Lincoln Antique Fair, and it was ten pound. And I ummed and ahed about that one, but I thought ten pound was a little bit steep. But so five pound, I thought I'd do it. Um, and one of the other things I got is this. Uh, it's a, a basket, a sewing basket, and then um, it's got a few bits in it. So this was four pound. I have actually gone through it because I had to chuck a lot of stuff out. They were just a, an inch deep in pins and needles at bottom. So I've had to go through it because I got stabbed a few times. But this is what was left that I didn't like. There were a pair of broken scissors that I just threw away. Um, and a, a cookie cutter, bizarrely enough. And some nuts and bolts. So I just I just threw them. But it's got things like, like I don't know, they're not antique, are they? They're vintage, 27p, so they've been around a while. Um, oh, these are stuck together. This wool and nylon thread. There's a red one, but it's, stuck. oh yeah, I think so. For them too. Uh, this, I thought, I've never seen one of these before. I thought it was quite cute. It's hose mending. But it's, uh, it, I would have thought for, uh, does that mean for nylons? But it's it's not, it's not stretcher. There's no stretch in it. It's really less. No, that's not, that's not it. That's, the hose is underneath it. The hose thread is underneath it look that's uh, that makes more sense in my little head so yeah um what else is in there some light press studs and um, some more press studs i mean these are is it these one no these are quite old look um it's just put things like elastic. Now these are I was excited to see this, but it's knackered. It opens up, something's happened to it, it's got wet or something. And then it's just it just parts it middle and that's about it. Cause I'm gonna put that in that sign box thing that I'm making. But I'll still put it in, but it is, I might come across another one, but yeah, it's completely stuck together, that. What else is there? There's like buttons off like a, a men's cardigan. Um, a big thing of pins and needles. Like loads of different buttons. They look very 80s. Some like thin elastic. Oh, 
some needles. Yeah, so it's all things like that. So, um, and some random just buttons, just loose in bottom. So yeah, that were four pounds. I should have knocked him down a bit, actually. I think he would have gone down a bit, but maybe that's a bit tight. <laughs> I'll just put that down out of the way. And then I got this. It's just a, a plate, but I think it, it's the colour of it and the agedness of it that drew me to it. This was a pound. And I think, I looked it up, I think it is brass, but I think it's on, no, I think it's copper, but I think it's on top of brass. Because they said it should look like a penny, which it does, like the brown red here. And there's verdigris, uh, you can see here, not very green, but it is green in real life. But on the back, when they say it's like brass, brass is shining and there's that shine underneath. So I'm wondering whether it's, Copper on top of brass. But I still like it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it was a pound, so... I thought I'd, I thought I'd get it for a pound. So, yeah. It's supposed to make a dull ring. And it does do that, but I don't I don't think it's up full copper. Um, And then I got this as well. This is quite cute, isn't it? a little wooden frog and it's got little like cocktail folks on it so i've seen the i bought this this was a pound he wanted two for it but i knocked him down because that's the type of girl i am i knocked him down to a pound it's got seven in it, it says on that they should have six so somebody's put an extra one in but yeah it's made out of olive wood, I believe. You can buy them new on Etsy, um, on Amazon, and they sell them on um, Etsy. And they're all about £15. So I thought that was quite good for a pound. I'm going to be selling that. I'm not going to keep that. I won't, I won't use on anything like that. And then the other thing that I'm going to be selling is this. I saw this and, and I stopped and I thought, I think that's worth something. So I says to my husband, I called my husband back because he's walked off. And, and I says, what do you think to that? And he's like, hmm. And I thought, and I walked off and I came back a bit. And they're really small. I don't know if you can see how small they are. But they're in original presentation. And it's got this satin and, and velvet. I mean, that, that's a beautiful velvet colour. So anyway, I says to him, how much do you want for them? After I ummed and had for a little bit, because I said to him, I, like, I think I can make some out on them. And he said, four pound. So I thought, for four pound, I'm going to take a chance on that. There's no maker's mark or anything on it. Uh, let's see if it says anything on, on the actual goblet. It does say something, but I can't see it. Not a cool brass goblets anyway so basically i looked on etsy well i just googled small brass goblets in blue case and it came straight up and the 45 pound on etsy so um and the, there were a few so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna list it for 45 pounds i'm gonna list it for less i'm gonna list it for about 38 or something so that i can get a profit and move it on because it's not something that I'd I'd be using, but I don't use the Turkish. I've seen some other like um, like brass. I'm getting mixed up with brass and copper now. All this talk of brass and copper, brass goblets, and I think they're from Turkey, but I'm not hundred percent sure. So anyway, moving on. So what I also got this one my first find actually is this bundle of crochet doilies and there's a little like is it a mat i can't think of word it right annoys me when people on, on youtube videos can't think of words and i'm doing it now so anyway there's some doilies i've used one of these in my, in my sewing junk journal and then this one this is for like 
putting all your glass up and stuff flies going in and then these this one and i've used one of the, these as well these are from malta so somebody bought them on their holidays it's that maltese cross yeah so i've used one of them as well and then these are like a creamy sterny color and then i've used one of these as well this like star shape one so yeah there's quite a few of them so it's like what you'd put in your dressing table aren't they out back of your chair i think and then there's a big one This reminds me of seeing anyway. <laughs> and this is nice, but it's got hearts on it. It's quite it's a rectangle. It's very lacy. And this one. And then there's a small one of these Maltese ones. I don't know if that lace is called like Road Wrong Lays, is it? No, Battenberg, is it? Oh, I can't think. And then this one, another scene in me. And then just a few little ones at the bottom. That one. And that was £2, which I didn't think were bad. She just says you can have them for, for £2. Oh, it's sold. Bargain. Right, so then, oh, this I've got another book, another heavy one. This is the girls' annual 1890. So it's a little bit younger than the other one, but it's in better condition. Is that the spine's not falling to bits? It's it's more substantial. Obviously, I've still got to be careful with that. Got your hand marbled paper in it. And the illustrations are beautiful in it. And it's it's stories and music similar to the other one. Uh, let's just find some pictures. I shouldn't have done that, should I? But there's some beautiful pictures in it. I shouldn't be licking my fingers and then doing that because that's not going to do anything for it, is it? find any pretty pictures so yeah it's there's some colored not many pictures and then most of them are black and white um let me just see if i can find any more there's some mummy pictures there look I mean, how pretty is that? This is not as big as the other one. The other one's absolutely about twice the size of this. Um, but it is in a lot of better condition. So I'm going to scan some of these and, and use them in. Oh, a pair of just gets in there. Yeah, so I'm going to scan some of these and use them in my journals. I've just seen if there are any more uh, coloured ones that have jumped out at me. Yeah, no, I can't see any more. It's just it's full of them. So, yeah. 1890. It's, well, it says here October 5th. 1899. You probably not see, but just under. So I got that for eight pounds. You can see it's not as thick as although it's virtually double the size of that. I'm just looking at it on the shelf. But a lot better condition. Oh, not quite as heavy either. So, and the last thing, I think is the last thing, 
is this quilt. It's the single size, but it's, it's more of a square. And then inside, it's got like a stripe pattern. And it's got like pretty roses, little pink roses, faded roses, and these are like embroidered. And then in middle, it's just got these faded roses again. And then this, is it scalloped? Scalloped edge. Yeah, so I got that and that was three pound. And that's hanging over my banister as a, I'm gonna put it on my single bed, but I, it, I put it over my banister before I did that. And then I thought, actually, I quite like that. Just, just hung. And it stops cats scratching my banister. So that's it for today, I think. I've really cracked on with the um, sewing journal. Um, so I think I'll do a, a video of that next um, and upload that. I've not done the case. It's too big for the case now. So I'm going to have to get... I, I am looking out at the car boot now for like a vintage suitcase because it's the, the journal's too big to put in that red case. I don't know if you remember three or four videos back. Uh, that I bought for it, but it was only 50p. So I'll keep it and just use it as storage or something. I'll give it like to a chat shop. Um, so yeah, so thank you for joining me in the video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.